things die, but they don't always stay dead. Believe me, I know. Hey guys, it's me, Christina. I'm going to be reviewing Frostbite by Rochelle Mead, the second in the Vampire Academy series. I really loved this one. This one was filled with so much, like, oh my god. Okay, so it takes place again at Vladimir Academy, and there's like a Stratego strike again, and, um... It isn't good because, um, so everyone, it's around Christmas time, so everyone is like, they're like getting scared, so they are all going skiing, so they're, um, going to a ski trip, but Rose is still in love with Dimitri, and Lisa is seeing Christian, but, um, Rose can't stay out of Lisa's head, and especially in awkward situations. If you read this one, you know what I mean. And, um, I really like this one because there was a lot more, like, action and there's, there was still love and romance, but we got introduced by more characters. In this one, we got Tasha, who is Kristen's aunt, and we got, um, Janine, Janine, which is Rose's mom, which, um, Rose and her mom don't really have a really good relationship. Like, um, Rose sort of resents that her mom wasn't really a mother to her growing up. And she's really just been guardian lady all her life. And, but, um, yeah, and it was really depressing. But we got to be another really cool guy. His name is Adrian. Um, Ikevash, and, um, he was really cool, he was, like, a sexy bad boy, and I really liked him. It was, I'm, like, tied, sort of, between him and Dimitri, but I sort of like Dimitri more. Um, like, he's a Russian guy who, like, he's really hot. When they make this a movie, I can't wait to see who plays him. And, um, this one was really good. I really liked the ending. I didn't really like what happened. There was sadness, and I cried, like, sad. So, um, Mason is still in love with Rose, but Rose really can't feel like, she doesn't really feel anything for him. And, but she wants to make, um, Dimitri jealous. So that's why she's always hanging around Adrian. But he's sort of, like, really bad news, and he has, like, a reputation. So, um, but anyway, the, the ending was really good, and I really liked it, and I cannot wait to do Shadow Kiss. I like this cover better. I do not like the new and improved covers, but, um, I was really lucky to be in my borders and found this version, because I like this version of Shadow Kiss more. Um... I don't know why, but this one's, like, bigger. But it says, what if following her heart means Rose could lose her best friend forever? This one sounds really good, so I will see you guys soon, and happy reading. Bye!